pong campaign in style. Ball is floated in by Patterson. Up goes Greg Halford. That's a good header from him. There's a free man at the back stick. And that was Niall O'Keefe, the captain. But he didn't get a clean contact on it. And that's a big let-off for Longford Town, who were almost oh. undone again this season. by yeah. Heels there, Nugent. And Waterford are on the move now with Phoenix Patterson. A couple of step-overs. Good cross off the left foot. John Martin with the header. And that wasn't far away. No, but Lee, Lee Stacey was confident it was always going wide because he, he, he didn't move across. So I think They've switched to play well at times. Waterford free kick the town's way in the end they decided to play it short on this occasion instead of playing it in towards the danger area Nugent with a really good touch there he gets the ball out to Elworthy who plays an early cross towards Williams but that's some good cover work there from Dara Power the Blues full back coming into the central position heading the ball away and Longford have there there with a good cover and run but let's see what Longford can do with this corner it's going to be taken again by Connor Davis who's appointing himself the set piece man for the night it's a little bit of a flat delivery but we had a diving header there at the front post from Aaron Robinson he's right on the edge of the six yard box so it's a really tight angle but not a bad effort at all from the former Bluebell man type of purchase he can get on this throw in for Waterford it's a congested penalty area here Hanford hurls it in it's a really good one it's into the six yard box Wordsworth went up for it it's still alive here and that header from Eddie Nolan was into the general vicinity of uh, they've uh, got everyone piled inside the six yard box the only player that isn't in the six is Griffin on the edge of the area it is a different ball in this time and Stacey didn't get a firm grasp of that one and it's a cheeky little chip from Griffin it's just over the bar clever effort from him but that wasn't overly commanded from Longford Town goalkeeper Lee Stacey forward to Junior he's got power on his outside he go inside instead it's a shot on goal it hit the back of Griffin it's fallen kindly to Martin it's cleared away off the line but Longford struggling to clear their lines they almost give power another chance there and it's a big let off for Longford Town Tony very much so um. at the end of the first half can it be Longford that strike lit and I'm uh, going to have to give you credit Tony 60-40 to Waterford as Davis whips a good ball in and that was just over the head of Paddy Kirk he seemed to lose his foot in there Kirk if he had been able to plant his feet and get a good contact on that header. Sorry, it's actually Aaron Robinson who's been... Robinson, they're two holding players booked in that first half. So that could uh, be important yet in this second half. But here is Nugent. He's won the ball for Longford. And he's going to thread it through to Williams, who has an early shot on goal. But it's straight down the middle and it's easily gathered by Brian Murphy. ...of Patterson and even to their own full-back, Dara Power, who's still bombing on forward at each and every opportunity. And Longford have allowed a short one here to Stafford. Stafford with a free cross into the area and up goes Wordsworth. But he's mistimed his header there and it's ran out. But that was a bit of a let-off for Longford. They allowed that quick throw in to be A couple of times off these throw-ins. But it looks like they'll go along this time through Greg Halford who's come up to take this one. It is a long ball in. It just about reaches the six-yard box. But Joe Manley rose highest to head that one away. The target was Wordsworth and that's surely a foul on Dean Williams. Referee says no but it looked like Dara Wordsworth goes back to O'Keefe. Whether Williams would have got on the end of that ball or not remains to be seen, but the simple fact was he was having his jersey pulled. It should have been a free kick. Ball into the area. It's going to run to the back post. This is a big chance for Waterford. Shot on goal. Good save by Lee Stacey. That shot on goal was from centre-back Eddie Nolan. We've mentioned the centre-backs. For Junior. Been kept company here by Robinson. Junior. Has been absolutely clattered there by Shane Elworthy. And I don't think there'll be any arguments from the commentary team about no. that one. That's the clearest yellow card you'll yep. see all season. And Junior stand over this one. So they can go for the in-swinger or the out-swinger. Junior steps over it. Looks like it'll be the in-swinger of Patterson. Indeed it is. And that's a crucial little header there from Wordsworth. And it ran through to the back stick where Eddie Nolan again was creeping in and hoping to get something on it. But Longford, with some last-ditch defender, managed to keep it at nil-nil. Were of causing all the problems in the Longford Town penalty area. Here we go again. Another long throw from Halford. It reaches the six yard box. Header from Manley, but it falls to Wordsworth. Who hits it on the spin. What an incredible goal from Wordsworth. Anthony Wordsworth. That is one of the finest goals you'll see. You just wonder if the tricksters here of Patterson and Junior might have something up their sleeve. Let's see what they have for us. It is going to be Junior to take. He crosses it into the back post. And that hits uh, Halford in the face. And if he had managed to take it down, then he would have had a free shot on Lee Stacey's goal. But Junior to Stringer. Stringer having his jersey pulled there by Nugent. Referee says it's okay to play on. And Nugent here with a lung bust and run forward. Will he have a shot himself? He laid off to Dean Williams. Williams is surely fouled inside the penalty area. 
And it is a penalty to the home side. Eddie Nolan, I think, with the foul. Definite foul. To Longford Town. Their top goal scorer this season is Dean Williams, and he stands over this one. It's Williams with the star drop, and it's just crept inside the right-hand post, and he has scored, and he's over to celebrate in front of the away fans. A messy like celebration from Dean Williams. Ward, headed away by Callum Warfield. Here's Junior. Junior gives it out wide to Stafford. Stafford off the left, good cross. Good header from Joe Manley, but Waterford still managed to turn it forward. Manley, I thought, was going to get there first, but he was beaten to it in the end. And Lee Stacey's had to bat that one away for a... And his added height in there. Stafford flicks it forward. A. Durvin unable to intercept. It's run through to Junior. Junior's got away from O'Driscoll. Junior into the area. And it's John Martin with the shot on goal. He almost had his fifth career goal against the town there. But again, Lee Stacey, last line of defence. Situation. It will be a throw into Longford. Elworthy's going to go across and take. They've left three back here, Longford, so they've been measured in their approach. Joe Manley, Aaron O'Driscoll and Paddy Kirk all stay back as Elworthy floated into the area for Manley. Manley lays it off for Williams. Williams with the shot on goal. But he got under that one. He was just leaning back as he hit it. It goes out the last action of the night. Indeed it is. A pulsating end to the game here. Longford Town 1, Waterford 1. The story is that Waterford will remain in that relegation playoff place going into the final game of the season. They'll play Finn Harps. They'll play St. Pat's on the final day. Finn Harps will host Longford Town. And don't rule out Longford Town getting the result up there. As I said, wouldn't it be ironic if Longford Town, first away when the season would be, helping to decide the relegation playoff outcome? So much to unpack here. Waterford took the lead through one of the goals of the season from Anthony Wordsworth. You thought then they were going to turn the screw and go and get a second against an already relegated side, but an absolutely dazzling run from Dara Nugent and a pass into Dean Williams. Saw Williams win a penalty for Longford. He tucked it away. His celebration drew a reaction from not only the Waterford fans, but from Greg Halford, who picked up a silly yellow card. Halford was then sent off, and Waterford played the remaining 10 minutes or so with 10 men.